welcome to Marie's World of Makeup. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button so you get notified for future videos. And if you aren't new here, then hello and it's wonderful to see you again. Today I'm going to be doing a Christmas kind of makeup look. I'm going to be using a few products that I recently got from America. Um, I got quite a few things um, from like their Sephora, which a lot of their Sephora stuff we don't actually have in our Sephora in Australia. I got a couple of Morphe things. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So how I got my products to Australia was I used a shipping service. That service is called GoSend. Um, that's the particular one that I used. The way I actually chose to use it was I actually found a discount or like a coupon kind of thing and it was Dramatic Mac. Um, when I typed that in to sign up, I actually got three months for free on their VIP kind of like sign up or whatever. Um, normally I think it's like $12 something a month, which I don't want to be paying if I'm not going to be using it like all the time. Um, yeah, so overall I was kind of happy with the service from them. I would say that I had quite a few difficulties. Um, I use their Shop Assist app, which means that I go onto like the pages, grab the like URL, type that into their list, um, and then they, I pay them, they kind of go out and buy it for me. You can also, you get like a shipping address um, that's specific to you. It's like you're a locker number. Um, and what happens is that you you pay for your items on the certain website that you're buying off. Say, for instance, if you're buying off Morphe, um, you buy their products on their website, and then for the shipping address, you just put in their shipping address. Um, it's kind of I would actually prefer to use I think the not using the shipper ship assistant because I wanted to buy the Kathleen Lights Morphe palette. That's the only reason why I actually signed up for that. I paid for it, I put my money in, I, I paid them for it, um, but because someone else has to actually go and purchase it for you, the product actually sold out before I got it. So I was really annoyed about that because I really, really, really wanted that palette and it was limited edition. I'm hoping that they come out with it again. I might just have to try and find a different way of actually purchasing it, so fingers crossed. Anyway, moving on to what I got. I got these Sephora Favorites um, Beauty Most Coveted. So this is a Sephora's most kind of sold products and things that people like most rave about, I would, I would assume. So it is 75 US dollars, but it says it has a $219 value. A lot of these products are sample sizes, but you do actually get quite a few full size products. Something else that I got from Sephora is the Kat Von D uh, cream concealer or look at concealer and this is in the shade white out it is just a pure white it does look, look like white out I didn't use this to bear under my eyes um, I used it to mix in with lots of concealers because I am so fair that if I find stuff really difficult to kind of uh, you know like concealers to find really light concealers so that's why, kind of why I bought it, just so I could mix it in with lots of other concealers. And then I got something that I'm so excited about, and this is the Cover Effects Custom Enhancer Drops. And this is in the shade uh, Celestial, which is I think the lightest shade. I'm just going to do like a little drop somewhere. Not even a drop, it's going to be just like a little, little smidge that falls off. It's really really hard for you guys to see. I got this set from Too Faced. It's their Merry Christmas liquid lipstick set. So I got three lipsticks. One is the melted chocolate in chocolate honey. Another one is just a melted lipstick in the shade melted fig. And then there's another one called melted chihuahua which I've heard lots of people rave about these. And then I also got a Too Faced melted matte and this is in the shade Lady Balls. And I tried this on yesterday. It looks so perfect for Christmas. Such a nice kind of like bare mare red, which I absolutely love. I still got three products from Morphe. So I got the Morphe M439 brush. This is just a foundation buffer. This is, I think this is one of like Jaclyn Hill's favorite brushes um, list. So I decided to pick it up because it was, I think, half price. 
I think because it's like normally like $27 and I got it for like $13.50 so yeah pick it up even though I have many foundation brushes and I typically don't use them but I thought why not give it a go I also got the Morphe snake skin kind of uh, brush holder like, is that what it would be called brush holder brush bag brush clutch I think that's what it's called actually um, this is one of Jaclyn Hill's favourites as well. It's not obviously on the website because they only do their brushes. Um, this is only $20, which is more than I would pay for a makeup bag. However, it looks like it can hold a quite a lot of brushes. Um, I didn't know that there was like these little, I don't know, stopper things. Um, so I thought it was just like two halves and then you like fold them out and that was kind of each, se each section. But I feel like you can hold lots of makeup brushes. And other things in here as well, that's typically what I like to use makeup brush cases for, is like mascaras and eyeliners and things that are straight so I can put them in there as well. Which I'm going travelling on Monday so this is going to be really exciting to use. And then last of it all, I got the Morphe 35S palette. So this is their shimmer palette. And I'm pleasantly surprised by these shadows. I know lots of people do talk about Morphe but I've always had my own kind of queries and doubts I guess but they really are crazy. I'll go with this shade here because I really like the shade. This random kind of like the pigmentation is actually really good. Um, They're, very, they're not as creamy as what I thought they were, but they are very um, pigmented. They're very pigmented and they do have great color payoff. I'm really like loving this right now. So I'm going to use that for the first time today. I'm going to create something Christmassy, kind of like orangey and red in my eyes. And I'm going to use some of the other products as well. Okay, so to prime, I'm going to use the Benefit Professional. I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. This is in the shade Y225. I'm going to take the Morphe M439. Just buff that to the skin. When I apply a foundation with a brush, I typically like to bounce it in. So kind of like the same way a beauty blender does. I feel like if you kind of go straight in like this, you get like a very streaky kind of result and it also moves around your makeup fair. But you also move around your foundation, which isn't what you want. You just kind of want to distribute it evenly. Make sure you have like a fair kind of... Uh, it's all even and everything like that so that's typically what I like to do I'm gonna try and use this as a bronzer I'm just going to apply some on the sides and tops of my face I don't think this is gonna work very well as a bronzer but we shall see I'm just gonna use a angled brush I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer just apply some underneath my eyes. Holy crap, that is dark. And then I'm going to take the uh, Kat Von D Locket one and this is just a white one obviously. So now that that's on my skin, I'm just going to take that angled brush again and just bounce it out. So I'm going to set using the um, Translucent Setting Powder by Laura Mercier. I'm going to take the Fuller Bronzer just to kind of bronze and contour slightly. 
I'm going to take the custom hands drops. Um, I'm just going to take a little smidge on my finger and just pat it on. Oh, damn. Because I can never get enough highlight, I'm going to take Moonstone. And just place that on top. I'm going to use my Colourpop eyebrow pencil. Okay. So moving on to the eyes. I'm going to take the NARS concealer. And I'm just going to prime my eyes. take the Meet Matte Nudes palette. I recently got this from Target because I had 20% off of the balm products, which I've never, ah, never purchased any of the balm products because like, they're on the expensive side. Uh, I'm just going to take a round top blender and I'm going to take Matte Sing. Yeah. I'm just going to blend it into my crease. I'm going to take Matte Rosen or Rosin, whatever it's called as well. I'm just I'm going to put that directly kind of over the top of that color. So the reason why you want to work colors into your crease is just so it looks nice and blended and not like you have just a chunk of color on your eye. And why I work multiple colors into my crease um, typically every day, like if I'm doing something really natural and simple, I will only work one color. Um, but the reason why I wear multiple colors is just so nice that it blends evenly um, because if I was just to go straight in with a darker color you can see I don't know if you can see but you don't really have a transition so you kind of just have your skin color and then bam your eye color whereas this you can it fades really easily and it just it really does help with your blending later on because if you go straight in with a dark color, you don't really have the color build up to transition into um, your skin. So I'm just going to take a blank brush. I'm just kind of wiping it off every so often. And I'm just blending those together. And blending it out. So I'm blending this practically all the way up to my eyebrow. I'm going to take, I think, I'm going to start out with this shade here, which these Morphe palettes don't actually have like names to them, um, like the shadows don't have names. You can buy their single eyeshadows, which I really wanted to do, however, um, it just gets a bit pricey. I mean, they're only $2 eyeshadows, so it's not like some crazy expensive, but I tend to go a little overboard. In case you haven't seen my Colourpop eyeshadows. <laughs> so I'm just starting out with that colour. And then I'm going to go in with this shade here. With, ow! Which I know you can't actually see. So I'm going to use this shade here. I'm just going to pack that over, I would say, the first. So avoiding the very inner corner. And I'm just going to do maybe like half to the outer portion. I'm going to take this colour here, which is just like next to it. And I'm going to place that on the, Ooh, that was... on the outer part of the eye. I'm going to take this shade here. I'm just going to do that on the outer portion, like the very, very outer corner of the eye. Kind of just like in the creasing kind of area. And then on my finger, I'm going to take this kind of like white shade. And kind of drag that. I like to use this for like my fingers. Um, just because I feel like they blend pretty easily. Um, I'm just going to place that kind of in the inner portion to kind of transition it a little better. I'm going to go in with the, um, 
I'm going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to take the um, Estee Edit coal liner thing. I'm going to take some on my brush. And I'm just going to kind of work that into my lash line. Because I'm not going to use an eyeliner. I'm going to go back into the Meet Matte Nude palette. I'm going to take that matte sign or sing palette again. And I'm just going to bring that underneath my eye. And then back to the Morphe palette. I'm going to take this kind of... I don't know, it was like the coppery kind of fire thrower, flamethrower colour. And then I'm going to go with a this colour here. Do that on the outer corner. So I only have lips left. I'm going to use, I don't know which one I want to use actually. It's either the Urban Decay Vice or the Too Faced Melted Matte. I feel like I'm going to use a, gloss, uh, a lipstick for this one. So this is a matte lipstick as well. There you guys have it. Um, I really like this eye makeup. I think it looks stunning. I really love this lip color as well. I'm happy with like m most of these products. The only thing that sucks is that I can't use the uh, concealer. But it has a crease under my eyes, which I'm really happy with because that is something that I do struggle with. So this was in the shade Custard, by the way. I think there might be one shade lighter, but I'm not sure if that would work for me. Um, I really like how the eye look turned out. Oh, I don't have any mascara on. I always forget mascara. Like, always forget it. Um, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Super Sizer. So yeah, that's how it worked out, guys. I'm really happy with it. I love this eye makeup. It looks amazing. Um, I'm really happy with pretty much all of the products. So put that down here for a little bit. Um, I love this highlight. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I can't say I noticed too much difference with the foundation. Um, using it with the foundation. However, I think you have to use maybe like two or three drops before it actually shows up. Um, I wish I would used the Cabral. I don't know if it's going to be the right shade. So this is the shade 3. Hopefully it would be. Might be a little bit too light. Because I have really dark eyebrows. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Um, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching, obviously. If you want to check out GoSend, I do recommend them for the fact that it was free for me so I didn't have to pay for it. Um, if I had to pay for the service, I would kind of be a little bit annoyed with it. But I would say use Dramatic Mac believe her code is like a forever kind of code you can sign up for free um for 30 days like it's a 30 day kind of trial and it's obviously free but you don't have as many features to kind of use so <clears throat> you don't have as many features to use or that you have access to so the shop assist um kind of portion you can't use um that's strictly like vip members also, your locker is only, like, things stored in your locker for only 7 days rather than 60. So, for instance, if you buy multiple websites and one of them gets in, from that point on, you know, you have 7 days. If the second package doesn't arrive, they will send it. Um, I'm not really sure what happens after that, if you get your product still or not, but that's just kind of how it has been working. One good thing is that they do actually send you pictures of the products. Which I thought was really cool. Um, so just kind of make sure that they do have the right products before they send it. Obviously everything was still in its boxes. They're not going to open stuff up. But I mean, you know, they showed me pictures of 
this and the brush um, and the case and everything like that. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Once again, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because you don't want to miss out on other videos, do you?